All right, hole 10 here at Tatanka. I'm gonna play the white from 395. Hole 10 out here at Tatanka, downhill. Pretty hole looking up here on top of this hill. All right, Greg. Thank you. Just a little bunt out there. Let it run down the slope. Thanks. Whee! All right, we got about 105. I'm gonna hit like a, I got a 54 because it's slightly in the wind to the right. So I'm gonna choke down on this a little maybe. Because it's downwind, this is gonna de-loft the club. I mean, not downwind, but downhill, de-loft the club. Now work it, Win. There we go. Okay. Good shot. Thank you. It's like magic sand. All right, I've had these birdie opportunities several times a day and just can't cash in on them with these slower type greens. All right, here we go. And I say slow. Man, I didn't feel like I hit it any harder than the other times. <laughs> is it this green's fast or I'm just adjusting too much well folks not a way to start there aggressive with that birdie putt and uh, aggressive with that birdie putt and I paid for it all right hole 11 wicked little hole looks like bunker there in the way and you got to clear the water on the left. 383 I'm going to play. All right, about 387 from these white tees to that bunker. It's like 245. And there's the pin up there. Clear that. Okay. Woo. So Craig says it was a running, like a force force gum pull a, draw. It was a running. So let's see if it didn't run into the gunch. All right. Here's my shot coming up this slope. That's what I got. I'll give you the yardage when I'm hitting. All right, I got about 71 yards up this hill. I got a 58 here. Ah, oh, skinny. Get down. Go. All right, shot four now. Hazard, hazard drop, penalty area drop. You know how on those type of putts where I just three putted from 15, 20 feet, how it can get you frazzled for a little bit. So I just got to regroup here. Hit a gut, good shot here and try to get a five. Nope, not going to get there. Well, they're running out more now on these back nine then. All right, that's the putt for bogey. All right, nice double. Way to start the back nine, Steve. Craig, you're rubbing off. The, the dread. All right, our match starts now. Yes. All right. So the, so the dreaded. One over, one over on the back. The dreaded Craig disease. All right, hole 12, 
doesn't get any easier. These first few holes are kind of tricky to the eye, in my opinion. But here's the par three we got. One what? 92? 92, yeah. All right, I got a five iron. It's uphill, slightly downwind, but. There you go. Oh, it's taking that slope right, stop. All right, it stopped, but that's, man. That's these, these first three holes are tricky. Yeah, these first three holes are not visually uh, pleasing to the eye, to say the least. Craig and I were talking off camera, so. All right, back nine's tough so far. All right, there's where it ended up in the rough, and here's what I got. Kind of short-sighted, but luckily the greens are uh, kind of slowish. <laughs> Nice, he made it. Don't come all the way down. All right, it stopped for me. Once it hit this brown stuff, it almost slowed it down. It was kind of weird watching it. New putting style. All right, hole 13, par five. I'm gonna play it from the 514 green. Have a little fun, try to get there. All right, so the white tees are the 515. They've moved everything up a little bit today, so that's where I'm gonna play from today now. Straight away, it looks like. That's a good miss. Ah, I'll take it. It's running. It's running. So, grab. All right, so I'm about 245, a little down, downhill slope. So I got the 17 three wood hybrid type. That ain't gonna kill me, I don't think. I don't know what's up there. That is the rough thing playing the new course. You have no idea where to miss it. Yeah, so visually, this back nine I think is tougher. Uh, I don't know what's up there. Yeah, the green's kind of big and right in front of me, but if you just miss it right or left a little bit, you just uh, just giving you a, you know the showcase and the update of what I think of the course. Uh, still love it, but this back nine is beautiful, but this back nine's tougher to read as far as visually. It is. Landman's more like in front of you. There was only one blind tee shot. Uh, yeah, there's some intimidating, intimidating deception stuff there, but uh, yeah, still love them both. All right, so it ran all the way through this bunker. I don't know what animal footprints those are. And it ended up right here, luckily. That's what I got. All right, it's kind of soft underneath this, it looks like, because there's sand underneath this, so. Came out pretty good. All right, there's where it ended up. Got a birdie opportunity. I think they're faster on this back nine. Out in the world. Mm. Just needed to borrow more. What do you know? Par, my mental mindset's back to par now, Craig. <laughs> Hole 14. Probably gonna play it from 409. And you went straight, yep. I did reset my body though, because I felt like I was. <clears throat> Over there with you. 
good shot. That's that ball flight from yesterday. That that low, like little drawy. Fucking bullet. Oops, sorry. Bullet. Bullet. Uh, you can cuss now on YouTube. <laughs> I dare you to walk across the top of that. You know? Maybe not with my golf <laughs> Alright, my ball is about five yards behind me, but doing this to show you where the pin's at. We could have cut the corner more, Craig, but yeah, no we didn't know. So here's what we got looking back. We couldn't tell how far left from the tee or right right now to go. Alright, ball above my feet. I got the pitching wedge, 126-ish. That's gonna be down in the hollow, isn't it? Yeah, a little Yankee. Uh, uh, yeah. Probably chipping up. So I landed right there, took the slope of the green, and I'm down there in the rough. So good luck, coming up. Man, that was a gnarly lie. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Woo. So for a hole that Craig and I have no clue off the tee, and that's what this back nine theme has been about. I think it's just you need to play it once, then you know. But at least the front nine, it was more in front of you. Yep, it was. So, but anyway, I like it so far. Love it. Hole 15 here. I'm going to have to zoom in on it because there's bird crap all over it. 305, 323 from the white. I'm not sure yet. For me. All right, hole 15. I'm playing it from the 315 whites. That's what I got. This hole at least is in front of you. You can see it. That's probably a good angle to come in from. Over there by the cart path. Hole 15 tee box vistas, beautiful. All right, I got about 60 yards to this blue pin here. Got a 58. I feel like it's a pull or might be Heavy. might be too far with the pull. All right. That pull added some distance for me, so I'm just off the green. I'm gonna putt. <clears throat> that thing like wobbled like a snake. Thank you. Yeah, right there at the end. All right, done with hole 15, 16th. Hole coming up, because you know it goes 15, 16 for the people that don't know that, but just trying to educate you in this game, you know? Now, a beautiful vista here. When you get on top, you could be down in the valley by the little creeks. Beautiful course. All right, the sign was broke back there, so I couldn't film the hole so it's 401 down this hill to that double green so it's it's a hole with three fairways pretty much or because you're coming from hole two and hole three i think right yeah towards those footprint bunkers it's over my All right, it's about 134, 35. The pin is pretty much right behind this tree on the right side. I got a pitching wedge. Ah! I didn't want to pull it down the tier. That's not a bad spot. 
All right, there's my weak pitching wedge. And that's what I got left. Come on. Gosh. Nope. I just can't hit them hard enough on the lines. I mean, that one makes it if I play out here, but the line I chose, I didn't hit it hard enough. Hole 17, we're gonna play the 181 white tees. Is it 185? 185, Craig says, to that blue flag. Downhill, back pin. <laughs> Oop, little gas. It is funny, you set that back hip. And you just. You can push and go the other way. Drive through it, that's all it is. I'm not even. I mean, I'm sure I'm still rolling my hands a little bit, but not like it was. No, it's not. God dang it. A little thin? No, no, I just pushed in the right. That's my miss. Bunker. It might have been the six for me. So I'm up there in the bunker, so I'm gonna set the camera back here. Good part. Found me a new putter. All right, par five. We're gonna go to the 512 yardage. White tees. I, I, I didn't see it back there, but. Hole 18 from the whites. 510 yards uphill. All right, let's do it. Game's that simple, right? Yeah, you're gonna keep playing. Oh, no, I'm done after this. <laughs> I felt it about four holes ago. I was like, oof, body's not used to playing two days in a row. That and six hours sleep and... Shot. Pound town! Yeah, that's a good one. For me. Yep, that's about as hard as I can hit those. Yeah, one little just... Aim a little further left, just a little. There you go. You? Mm hmm. Right there. Held off a little bit, but not bad. I still went out that way. All right. All right, we got about 240 up the hill. She's in play. Man, it's like that got knocked down quick. That was weird when I watched yeah. it bounce. All right, I ended up with a birdie yesterday at Landman. Let's see if I can do it here today because I haven't had one. Got 48 yards about. <clears throat> All right, Craig said good shot. Here's what I got from this side. I'm gonna move the camera up there. Oh man. Good par. Thank you. There we go. I told myself to freaking hit the ball. <laughs> oh. Good putt. Good Golfing bird. gods brought me back. Good bird. Good little trip, brother. Good round. All right, Craig, give your synopsis of Tatanka. Fun course, 
challenging, beautiful, worth the drive up. Tag team it with Landman, you won't regret it. It's fun. All right, thanks for watching the part two here at Tatanka Golf Club. It means Buffalo. Uh, anyway, my synopsis, beautiful setting, trees, as well as, you know, open fairways pretty much. Um, there's some tricky holes on this back nine, but other than that, once you play it, you'll probably be more comfortable with those tee balls and the approach shots. So, but I enjoyed it immensely, especially this little Nebraska two course tour we did. And uh, now, Landman to Tonka. Make sure you get and play those. Love you all. Stay self aware. Thanks.